Hello everyone, Camel Saurus here, sporting my lovely school attire. Now today, we're going to be talking about the top 10, in my opinion that is, best Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures by Mattel. Now without further ado, let's get started with this list. Number 10, we have the Battle Damage Herrerasaurus, a pretty controversial one. This won't be on many people's top 10 list, but I love the Battle Damage line, I think it's great. The extra added articulation and the pretty decent color schemes overall, they put a lot more effort into these ones. For instance, the, the nails at least are painted on these things. And it gives you a more a superior version to an attack pack figure. So that's why I like the battle damage figures so much. And this Herrerasaurus is really nice. I really do like this guy. He's a very, very good figure. And that's why he's number 10 on my list. Number nine is one of the few Rorivores on my list. Now I don't like Rorivores that much. They kind of annoy me, to be honest. Uh, they have limited articulation and their, their features, their roaring kind of feature isn't my favorite. But I must say the Baryonyx is a lovely, lovely figure to have at number nine. This thing is really, really good. The sculpt work in this thing is gorgeous and the paint scheme is really, really nice. The action feature works very cool. Uh, I took I take out all the batteries on most of my Roar of Ores, so this guy is just... He's just like this. So, anyway, really good figure. Glad to have him at number nine. Number eight is another battle damage figure. This is a really, really good figure. The detail on this one is, it, it's the definitive version of Stiggy. Uh, this is the battle damage Stiggy. This is the definitive version for this figure, uh, for this character, this species. It's really, really good. Everything about this is amazing. The articulation is exactly what you'd want. It's very good. And... The color scheme, it's perfectly painted, you know. Um, there's nothing more I could have asked for. It's the perfect figure. So it's just a shame that we have the main gimmick of the line, this battle damage feature. Apart from that, though, this is the best version of Stiggy you will get. So, yeah, that's why Stiggy is at number eight on my list. At number seven, this is the last Roar of Aura on my list. It is the Ankylosaurus. The sculpting on this figure is amazing. The color scheme is pretty decent. And uh, the action features, it's passable. It's its kind of weak. It's not great, but I just love the Ankylosaurus so much. It's one of my favorite dinosaurs in the franchise. And yeah, the design on this thing is amazing. The whole two uh, molded, dual molded kind of design on the armor is really, really good. I like this figure a lot. And it is by far the best Ankylosaurus we've ever had. So that's why he's number seven. Coming in at number six, almost making it into the top five, we have the Action Attack Carnotaurus. This figure is probably number one on some people's lists. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I think it's good, but um, it's a really, really good figure. It's just, though, I prefer all the other ones above this. This is really, really good, though, and it's just down to personal preference. That's what most of this list is. Uh, I love most of Mattel's figures, so it's very hard making this list. A lot easier making my top five worst. So yeah, this is the Action Attack Carnotaurus. It's got a good gimmick, very good. The paint job is amazing. You couldn't have asked for anything more on this guy. So really, really good. Mattel have outdone themselves with this figure. Now we're into the top five, and number five is another Action Attack figure. It is the Stegosaurus. I love this guy so much. I was thinking I was going to like the Carnotaurus more, but this guy, out of nowhere, stole the show for me. This thing is great. Uh, it's exactly what you'd want from a Stego. It's a very big toy. And uh, the main thing about this is the action feature is just so good. I could, I could sit here all day and just do this. Granted, I'd have no life, but at the same time, like, it's just very satisfying. The paint job is pretty good. Very accurate to the Jurassic World color scheme. Maybe a bit too vivid for that, but anyway. I just really, really like this guy. So that's why the Action Attack Stegosaurus is number five. Coming in at number four is Battle Damage Blue. This figure's amazing. It's by far the best Velociraptor mold. It's got all the articulation you'd want. It's uh, The color scheme's very good. The nail, the claws are painted. And yeah, it just looks a lot like a Jurassic World Raptor. It really is a, a very good portrayal of blue. So yeah, it's the best by far. Beats the attack pack version and the uh, the jumping kind of version by a mile. This thing is amazing. And up here, I also want to put the battle damage of a Velociraptor. 
Um, but I just put this guy up because it's blue and this is it beats out a lot of their blues that other Velociraptor is really good as well But um, this guy is taking number four awesome. Coming in number three. I love this thing too much. It's the legacy Gallimimus This guy came in at the end of the year and rocked my world. He totally changed my list for the uh, for forever This is the perfect Gallimimus figure. It's got this <laughs> This dumb little running feature, it's not great, but like, it just, it, it means that we don't have some ugly battle damage sticking out the side. No stupid gimmick getting out in the way of it. Color scheme's great on this guy, and this improved over the attack pack miles. You know, the attack pack was already a really good figure. This guy came out with it with his amazing um, pose and uh, the accuracy and really rocked that guy. Um, so yeah, I love this so much and that's why it's number three. Number two is the big one. It's the freaking um, real feel Mosasaurus. This thing gets number two because it's just such an awesome thing to have in your collection. My God, if you like these films, you owe it to yourself to get this guy. He's, he's great, he, he's, he's tough, he's durable. Um, you know, he doesn't go in water, because... Why Mattel? No one knows why. Anyway, um, don't put him in water, guys. But, um, he's got articulation, which I would have been fine even if he didn't. It's great. It's awesome. Sure, it could have been longer, and the, t uh, the head could have been short, uh, smaller. But, like, come on, guys. It's a toy. And it, it was quite a cheap toy. It wasn't very much. It wasn't ex overly expensive. It was a fair price they asked for this guy, and it's amazing. Like, gosh, it's it's a great centerpiece. It's it's beautiful. And number one, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it. It's the thrash and throw T Rex. This thing is gorgeous. Look at the sculpt on this thing. You can't even argue. Like, this is by far the best T Rex we've ever gotten from this franchise. The action feature on this is amazing. Look at that! It's so cool! You can move its head around, you can bite down, do this little chomp. It's great. And it even has a stomping feature, which is really annoying, can I just say. This guy has been scaring me. He just sits on my shelf and sometimes I just hear a little... Oh, it didn't work. I just hear that randomly and sometimes it'll go... It's weird, but um, it doesn't detract from the amazing color scheme on this guy, the outstanding sculpt, and the really, really fun and just decent um, action feature. That is why the Thrash and Throw T-Rex is the best figure that Mattel made for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom lineup in 2018. So I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment down below if you agree with me, if you disagree, I'm really interested in hearing what your lists were. And subscribe if you haven't. Seriously guys, thank you guys so much for giving all the support you give to this channel. Yeah, I hope it continues through 2019. Let's have another awesome year. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And the cats in the cradle and the shoes go. Little boy blue and the man.